Hey cats and kittens, how y'all doing? So first of all, you're probably thinking, well, how come your hair looks all messed up? Well, that's because I just gotten out of the shower and I thought for a, a video once a week deal that I will show you how to do the jelly roll. Now, this isn't the first time I did the jelly roll, of course, and I noticed there was only one YouTuber that did it and it was Ozark the Greaser. Now, I tried to look for his channel. I don't know what happened. He probably deleted it or something must have happened. But that's okay because I'm going to show you how I do my jelly roll the way. I don't know why I brought this comb out. That's not normally my comb, but that's the one I could find that works all right. So, of course, I, of course, you know, go over the basics, you know, that the jelly roll was one of the very few hairstyles greasers worn in the 1950s. And, of course, the most popular being the pomodoro. Now, the one I usually do is just like the classical split where I comb this side at the back. I comb at like a side towards the back deal. But I thought I'd do something different, you know, because I was getting sick and tired of, you know, the same old boring hairstyle I've been doing for the past while. And this is the first, this isn't the first time I did the jelly roll because I haven't usually basically been using the wrong product to do my jelly roll because it wouldn't hold or you'll get like, get messy and it's still so much get messy but it holds much better than the product i'm using and i'm talking about murray superior now i got this on amazon and if you want just go to amazon or ebay whatever works and there's a chance you could get these at a four pack i got them at a four pack somehow but i, I can't complain because i have some good supply of murray's and there's also many other products you can use to do the jelly roll like royal crown hairdressing this works too but if you wanted to keep it nice, simple, I go for Murray's. Now, the first thing you wanna do is take this comb. Now, of course, this is a little pinkish, but this is the one I could find. I can't find my other one. And I just comb it to the back. Cause that way, when I get my Murray's, I could just put it on and that's way it's much easier to put on because it shouldn't be a, a big problem because I had done this the first time when I put, you know, comb my hair back to the slip back and then just put it in my hair. And then once I actually did it, it went in pretty well, hold well. No, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just as long as your hair is in the back, most of it, all that matters. And then either get whatever, but again, I recommend Mary Superior because it'll hold pretty well. Now, the way Ozark did it, if you haven't seen him, I feel sorry that you haven't seen him, but if you did, you were lucky because I seen him and he actually is a, he's a cool cat. He did some hair product reviews, but one of them being the jelly roll because it's the only one I've ever seen. And that's how it got me started kind of doing the jelly roll and how it helped me get to this, the, the hairstyle. So you're just going to, a glob of Murray Superior in your hand and just rub it. Make sure it's not, you know, hot. Just make sure it's warm because, I don't know. Just make sure it's warm because that way it'll go in your hair much easier. That's probably good. And just go get that in there. Now, at first, make sure your hair is just somewhat moist because it'll help get the merging hair because if it's, like, you know, already dried off, it'll be somewhat difficult. But as long as it's just a tad moist, it shouldn't be a problem. I'm out of camera. There we go. Gonna make sure I also use the mirror, but also just make sure the camera's there on my phone. Cause yeah, I record with my phone. I know I'm not picture perfect, but that's good. Now you could do two to three scoops. I normally do three because one would be the top. Just uh, another glob. Now this one's gonna be for the sides. And I hope this does go well, because sometimes it doesn't necessarily go well, but we'll see what happens. Right. And just put it in the side, but close to the top. Just make sure it's close, you know. And also to the top, you know, why not? But mostly do the sides. Try to get towards the back. But normally my third glob scoop of Murray's, I just do my back, because that I'm also gonna do the ducktail, because I know the ducktail works pretty well with the pomodoro, but I also think it works so well with the jelly roll, in my opinion. And then this is my last scoop. 
Now, normally you beat two scoops, but I just do three just for the back to get it good because otherwise you got these doubles sticking out and it's really annoying. Just get the bottom first, make it all the way to the top because I got some of it when I was doing my sides. I'm just going to keep it getting in there. Make sure. And just. And also, if you think you got the back, just do it all over. Get the remaining dry spots. Okay. All right. I think that's good. Now, I recommend you try doing like the cone with the bigger, bigger bristles. Because then, you have to get to there like that. Kind of like doing like a typical normal hair stuff. Sorry, I just gotta see the mirror too. Get that in there. It's kind of hard to see with my phone. That's fine. And I just bring it down a bit like that. There we go. And then do the other side. Now this is more tricky because you kind of make sure when you do the other side, make sure it kind of matches with the other. Because otherwise, it might look weird, but then again, people might not notice. I always do make sure I do both. Do the mill, try to get the mill, because the bar of the jelly roll is, you make sure when you comb the top, you like side and forward. That's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. So far, I'm getting somewhat. Hold on a second, I gotta look. Uh, hold on a second. This phone doesn't really work good. But then again, I don't have my tripod. Okay. Okay, I think I got it some way. And also, if you get the back, in the back, come up front. Okay. There we go. Now, this might not work sometimes, and that's okay. Because once in a while, it might not work. So sometimes you got to play with your hair in order to get it. All right, now, take this kind of comb. And this is what you need. doesn't have to matter if it's big or small. Just kind of do the top here like that. I know, it's going to tickle. And this is what I mean. This comb is good because this part is supposed to go up straight down. Again. And also kind of in a matter of flicking the wrist. Flick the wrist. Flicking. Yeah, there we go. Tongue twister. You kind of got to squeeze your hair together in order for it to work. This once in a while. Might not want to cooperate. Uh, and once in a while might not stay out so you gotta continue playing with it and this is kind of the idea okay. uh, hold on a second uh, this is what I kind of hate about was afraid of this because I can't get it all correct there we go and what I do I used to just like mash it together and I know that's the way to do it <laughs> now when it dries up then you could kind of get it better because when it's like your hair starts to dry up a bit with the product you can kind of make it in any shape and my hair is so long i need a haircut i mean not a short haircut because then i won't be able to one second yeah i just want to but this is the thing about this comb when you flick it, it's supposed to help with these arches, with the roll, go it down. That's how it's supposed to be. In the back, don't worry about it. It's gonna maybe go forward a bit. There we go. And of course, you might get some small hairs in the back, but hey, that's all right. Don't worry about it, as long as you get the main hair course. And it could be small, it could be but this is how it's supposed to turn out. And then it's supposed to go down on your forehead, like so. Um, when it gets like much dried up, it'll... And of course, you got these little buggers. 
just stuck sticking out. I'm gonna have to kind of maneuver away to get them in there. Of course, it'll take some time. So if you wanna do this hairstyle, you also make sure you get up at a decent time. Okay, there we go. This is how I do it. I kind of just like twisted it, make it one shape. And of course you might get one arch that's bigger than the other, but as long as both of them are big and nice, that's all that matters. Ba ba boom, there we go. Now, we'll do the duck tail. Now you can use a smaller bristle comb if you want. And of course, once in a while, some hairs so on top might get stuck to the side, so you have to fix it a little here and there. Okay, get the back. Right there. This kind of reminds me some way of two bits is uh, jelly rolling away, but somewhat not really similar. I do a noise noises in the background. I apologize about that. Sometimes my hair doesn't work. Sometimes I have to put some product in, or sometimes I'm just gonna have to keep playing with it in order to make it work. There we go. Oh, my hair's not messing with it again. Okay. Just comb the sides, make sure it's all good. All right. Make sure I got the camera. Just take it down. Boom, got the ducktail. You got the jelly roll. All right. Now, again, it depends. Your hair sometimes doesn't want to cooperate. Sometimes your hair would just want to do other things. So again, you have to play with it. I play with it once in a while just to get it what I want. But this is the turnout. Got the arches raised a bit, sloped down. There's someone on this side, but it's close enough. And I know some of you may be perfectionists and you want to get it, you know, perfect. And hey, again, it's okay. It's okay to mess with your hair for a bit, play with it. Of course, got some of these buggers again. I like to blend it in with my hair. But once when it gets a little bit drier, it'll be it'll be cooperative. And there we go. So got the jelly roll. This is how it's supposed to turn out. Get two sides and make sure it's even. Yeah, it's even. Get the back, comb it forward. You got the duck tail, you're all set to go. And of course, Murray sometimes doesn't hold, I mean, it should, but I guess when it's like, when you just put it in, it takes a while for it to get in the hair and the roots. But yeah, this is the turned out. And I hope you guys did enjoy this little hair tutorial because I love this hairstyle personally because I can't do the pomodoro, but I'm hoping to get to it eventually and make a little tutorial on how I do it. And of course you might see something similar like that on other YouTube platforms that do the Pomodoro, but I'm going to do it on my experience on how I'm going to eventually do it. <laughs> but yeah. And also one thing, most of the jelly rolls, they're not usually this long. My hair is very long. So of course it's going to get right close to my eyes, in the middle of my eyes, but it doesn't bother me a whole lot because sometimes once in a while I'll just curl it up and I don't look stupid, but I always just put it like this, but yet kept the hair like that. That's what I normally do when I go to work. But yeah, if that's cut off, this is how the length's supposed to be. Kind of close to the middle of your forehead or lower or so. Um, kind of like two bits is jelly roll in the outsiders. And of course, mine's not like that. <laughs> Mine's very long and different, but I hope it's something similar like that. And yeah, that's how you do the jelly roll, guys. If you want any more recommendations on due to some how to do 50s hairstyle, let me know in the comments below. And if you're just new to the channel and if you're just watching this video, subscribe for other content about hair, the 50s, greasers, A. <laughs> so again, I hope you did enjoy. And I hope to see y'all in the next video. Later, cats and chicks.